Hello and welcome back to Chidarchini, the village where we live here in northwest Bosnia and Herzegovina. And yes, welcome back to the vlog. It's a Wednesday, round about midday. It's really overcast and it's so unbelievably muggy. Do you know what I mean? Where you feel all sweaty and horrible. We've had days and days and days of 35, 36, up to 40. And it's been totally... Um, for me at any rate as a Brit, uh, unbearable and uh, unlike uh, Tam and her parents that get up at five o'clock in the morning and do things uh, on the property and then I don't know around about nine o'clock, ten o'clock in the morning just say that's it until eight or nine o'clock at night. Um, I don't, I just get up and try and live uh, a normal life but I do have down the hill my uh, office in the studio where I put things together for the newsletter, the blog uh, and this vlog as well and I do have AC so I suppose I'm a bit of an AC uh, junkie. I wanted to come out today because we're expecting rain. Uh, I never thought as a Brit that I would say this, I just can't wait for the rain to come. Um, I'm going to take some shots to show you but basically uh, here uh, on the property everything has really really uh, dried out uh, and Tamara came up onto the garden today uh, to tell me that her mother had told her that we've lost about 40 kilos of small cucumbers um, and what we normally do with those small cucumbers is uh, we pickle them we put them in brine uh, and then we can eat them um, not only now but um, through the winter so we've uh, lost 40 kilos of cucumbers and everything else is so brown all this luscious green grass that I'm used to is it looks like a half desert um, to be honest with you. As you can see it is overcast. I'm hoping there's rain in those clouds. I really really am. Um, look at it. It's just all brown everywhere. So brown. I miss the the grass. Predrag though has got his, uh, Tam's father that is, has got his uh, Buddha his uh, water butt, I think is the uh, English word for that. And look, you can see where everything is looking rather burnt out. He did have, at one stage, nets to try and fight the UV. But I think that the heat, the extreme heat, has... Uh, ruin this year's harvest. Let's walk along here a little bit. Look at them, they're all these, these are supposed to be nice and green and they're all yellow and very burnt but he has got his irrigation system in so there are some mitigating activities going on. I think this is the part that the neighbour has but yeah rows and rows of tomatoes. We'll get a lot of tomatoes. Tomatoes light sun right? And if not we'll make uh, Ivar or Pinjur or something out of the tomatoes. But yeah as I keep saying to you I'm a city boy all the onions, can you see them? And this never looks so untidy as it is at the moment. But there's no time to come out and do it. I mean, when you do, you can't work in the dark and You can't be out here at 42, 39 or whatever it is during the day. It's just like impossible. You would collapse. I've never seen it like this. But the, there's the bell peppers coming on. The cabbages. I like bell peppers. Tomatoes coming on there. It is, it's just so, it's just 
been burnt. Oh well, we'll make the most of it. Oh yeah, I was saying about the UV netting. This is what uh, her dad has. But he's taking it, taking it off now and we want, we're praying for that to empty. Please, 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 let's have some, let's have some rain. Let's go and have a look at the fruit to see how the, the fruit is doing. Well, that looks a bit neat, doesn't it? There's a bit of green there. Don't ask me what they are. I haven't got a clue. I suppose I should have a clue. Here's some pears. Or well, here are some pears. I put that in my pocket. I'm not going to let that go to waste. And then there's the apples. Let me not fall down the... Slide down the hill here and crack my ankle again. That would be unforgivable. But look, we have lots and lots of apple trees, lots of them, as the windfalls testify to. So we'll be able to have some apple rakia by the looks of things at the end of the season, and lots and lots of apple cake, sipana pita as Tam makes, which is like a really nice apple cake going down here I hope the camera is not too bouncy for you but um, I'm not seeing tons of pears sorry plums on those trees so it's true the uh, cold snap that we had when all the blossoms came off have rendered us with so little in the way of plums there'll be no Schlivovitsa in November for yet another year let's go back up the hill a quick look uh, around the garden it does look a little bit sad don't you agree we do have I forgot to show you but I'll do that in the next one the uh, grapes seem to be doing okay. We've managed to get some raspberries, um, black currants of which we've made jam with earlier on when the strawberries were ready. Lots and lots of strawberry jam and strawberries and cream. Yes, they eat them here in Bosnia as well. Absolutely lovely. Um, but yeah, you're gonna say, David, you're boring me now. But we do have a breeze. A breeze has started. Um, just recently over the last uh, hour I'm feeling it now so hopefully I'll get this uh, this rain you most probably can see the trees behind so yeah it's gonna come hope it doesn't come while we're recording this but I've got uh, an action camera so it's able to handle um, the wet so yeah it's been um, a hot week We've managed to get into Banja Luka a little bit um, and uh, on the newsletter in particular, if you subscribe to the newsletter, um, you'll see some short videos from the Banja Luka Festival. First time we've had such a cultural experience here with world-class um, performers. That was amazing. Uh, even though we are now Wednesday, there are a few days left of summer on the Verbas, which is a whole week of river-based uh, activities. And there's another video if you want to uh, find that on the newsletter. By the way, if you want to subscribe to the newsletter, you don't have to pay anything. Um, just below, if you're watching this on YouTube or wherever else, maybe Instagram, um, just go and find the link. Um, and it's free every Saturday at uh, 7 o'clock Central European time in the morning. Pops into your uh, email uh, box and there's lots of information about what we've been getting up to. And we have behind the scenes videos and everything like that. Right. You didn't hear it, but I did. Tamara said it's coffee time, so I'm going downstairs to get some coffee, and then I'll put this together, and we'll have this um, on the internet. Oh yeah, 
and uh, you might say well this isn't like a highly produced vlogging video we've decided to keep things as raw as possible um, yeah we're not gonna bullshit or anything like that this is what it's like I'm dressed here and uh, yeah didn't shave this morning either my book of is in the bin thank you so much for watching this far we really really do appreciate it you're really really cool uh, please do stay safe and we'll catch you on the next one it's starting to spit with rain I'm off <laughs>